do I do? Do you? What did she just say to you about boundaries with your friends? I just feel like he's laughing in my face. The friend. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to Jasmine? Wow, I didn't even know it was down to that level with that situation. Mm. Maybe I should have communicated my feelings more instead of just trying to push them to the side. Now Ricky has kind of made it to where what's good for the geese is good for the gander. This girl is doing tit for tat. My name is Marcus. I'm 38 years old. I'm a highly successful insurance broker with multiple offices across the nation. Marcus is definitely like the full package. And I'm just like, damn. Beautiful lady. Thank you. I don't really get jealous. At the end of the day, I know she's going to come running back, man. So I am very confident. Come running back. So you feel absolutely nothing right now? No. Like? No. My name is Jacoby. I live here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm 31 years old. I'm 6'4". Dark skin. Okay. <laughs> Just looking for a woman that can lean on my chest pillow. She can look up a little bit higher now. Oh, well. Oh, wow. That, okay. That, that, that was no. Cool. That was <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know y'all asking what's the importance of the height, but I'm sorry. As a babe who is over six foot in heels, it's nice to see a man that is six four. Okay. It's really nice. I'm just saying. One word. Dream. It's true. But Jacoby's doing too much. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Osman, you said you're drained? <laughs> absolutely. And this is my first time watching this show, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> drained. I don't blame you. I took two seasons off. I'm only back just so we have something to do together as a as a family, okay? But um, two things I want to say. For, I forget the new couple's name, but. It, it upsets me that it takes her getting this emotional for him to finally realize how much the friend's words impacted her. It's clear that she said that she felt disrespected at that time and he didn't see it necessary to really call up the friend to a point where he would apologize to her on top of apologizing to him. Like, I don't know, that annoyed me. And then Dr. Stacy's like, well, he's reacting now. Yeah, but... I had to have a full on breakdown for him to feel something like, I don't know, that didn't sit well with me, number one. And then number two, I do like a man who's so assured in our relationship that he doesn't ever feel away when a man steps to me, you know what I mean? But I do understand how Catherine and Joya feel when the men say things like, oh, she'll run back to me or, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, damn, like you don't, like you don't ever fear like losing me. Like you just think you have me in the bag like that. And I like, it's it's a double-edged sword because of course you want that confidence, but you're also like, I don't know. I don't know. I know y'all know what I'm saying, but yeah. Yeah, cause it's like, it's like, it's not giving him a reason to step his game up. Exactly. We've just become complacent and you know, I've accepted your complacency. Yep. That's crazy. Mm. Go combat, I see your mic is open. Or, or no. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, I thought it was turning on just now. But I don't know. I'm just like thinking. Like I, I feel like that's kind of weird at the same time to have to feel like that to want them to to want security, but not too secure. Well, I feel like that's just. In my own, I feel like that's just just a thing that I don't know. In my own personal experience. I've, I've observed that sometimes girls just be wanting that shit like that. Like, you, they want you to be something, but not too much of that something, but also that's something very much. I yeah, no, I think, I think the where it makes the women feel, like, taken for granted, I guess you could say, is the, is the phrasing, she'll come running back to me, which is what Ricky said specifically. And it just makes it seem like, the mediocre because something in the relationship must be mediocre for them to be on this show you have put out the mediocre have clocks that i will just accept the mediocre and there's nothing anybody that can provide for me that'll make me realize that i do deserve better like i deserve like you must think that i think i deserve mediocre i think that's and yeah I, I get it but at the same time like they're trying to convince them that they should get married you know what i mean like, he not trying to convince her. Like, she trying to convince him. That's true. That's about true. getting married. So, I would believe she gonna come back 
if she trying to convince him, you know, like that is the general goal of like this whole process. I hear that. I hear th- I I hear that. I hear that. As as a woman, I I sen- I feel their frustration though. I do. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. That taking for granted thing is like super like big. Mm-hmm. I got you. You're in good hands, like all state. Okay, we'll see if I. <laughs> no, like all state. Right. Your energy is like so high. It's like damn. And I know I have a man at home that I want to make just a little jealous. After I shook your ex hand. Your ex. And well, then you, you t- got jokes. I heard a girl tell my ex, "Until he gives you a ring, you're technically still single." It's How true. You- Facts. Wow. It's true. I start having a. A fetish for talking to women with boyfriends. Damn, All they want you. for real. What? Now, oh, is I've outgrown that. <laughs> I had to seek a little bit of therapy. Good, good for you. <laughs> I can make love to a man just by how I look in his eyes. Mm. I don't have to ever touch you mm. to touch you. Mm. See the difference? Mm. It's how I talk to you. Why would you wear my favorite color on a date with somebody else? What do you mean? What else color I suppose to want? Like every time we go out, your favorite color is like black. All white or something. I always tell you I love you and all black. At any moment, I could just push him down the stairs, then his leg gonna break and he can't go. Ma'am. <laughs> Remember one drink no. maximum. One drink maximum. Ooh, she's pretty. My name is Gayla. I am 32 years old. I'm a hairstylist out in Atlanta. I'm the whole package. You know, I'm hardworking. I'm determined. Come on, I'm Gayla. Fashion. I'm independent. I make my own money. I'm more so the one that does mm. the intimidating. Mm. You want to take the bike or the Benz? How we going to go? Let's do the Benz. A car. I could have just slapped the him in the back of the head. The like, why would I be OK with my man sitting in between another woman's legs? He said the bike or the Benz. Mm. He's a man of options. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You just want to make her jealous. I mean, they pay. I'm sorry. What's her name? What What is this girl's name? Gay 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 Gayla. She. Woo, okay, now. I don't know. She. Wow. She's stunning. Maybe. And when she said, what if I just throw him down the steps so he won't have to go to on his date? I'm like, girl, what? I know. I have the same reaction. I said, excuse me. So violence just surrounds your relationship right. at this point, whether it's physical, <laughs> emotional. She also says, I bumped out the back of the head, too. I was like, yo, are we going to, like, she's making a lot of, like, yep. threats of violence. Yep. Like, way too much. Yep. Way too casually. And it reminds me of something you said last week, was- Combat, of saying, well, what was she saying in that conversation that let her, ma- that led the boyfriend's friend say what he said to her? And I, I, I hate when I'm right, you know, like, shit. Goodbye. All that I'm saying is, she, yeah, she needs to work on, yeah, I, mm, yeah, why is every threat with violence, girl? I don't know. That's, that's kind of scary. Can't lie. Yeah. And then your man's a, an crazy. alcoholic. You really, like, she really had to drill it down on him one drink only. And he was like, now how the hell you expect me to function with only one drink in my system? Like, Sir, what do you mean? Like a regular person. Yeah, that's weird. He's I mean, not a regular mm-hmm. person. He's from Brooklyn. Oh, here I mean, you go with that again. Go 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 again, Osman. <laughs> no, so like basically if I'm saying maybe the way if she would talk like more maturely, he wouldn't understand her. So I guess she has to like talk in a more like more intimidating manner to get her point across Mm, okay i could hear that i could hear that but then again like as somebody who wants marriage i would assume it's for the partnership not for just the person on your arm you really want to be in a relationship where you constantly need to be stern with your partner for them to like listen to you and again for you to have to cry for them to have empathy for you like girl it's not making sense Mm-mm, it's not adding up at all. There's I no think, communication, and that's a sign that you got that. That's a telltale sign that's not going to go good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he drinks to tolerate her. Like I think he drinks to tolerate anything. He drinks to tolerate anything. He's going to leave her. 
Mm. I can I can definitely see can him see leaving it. her. Yeah, I could see him leaving her if he was to sober up. But I think he drinks to tolerate anything, not just her. Mm. Which is sad. It's sad. Yeah, very sad. Um, what else happened? Oh, Joy is a date. What are your guys' thoughts on Joy's date? She was doing too much. I think the the guy she's with, the, he is like I feel like he'd be on Tinder too much. And he'd be like <laughs> watching like Manosphere content too much. Mm. Uh what makes me think this is the way he talks sometimes in re- in like within the show is like you're reading a literal Tinder profile. Yep. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. And and that's such a like literally everything he says can just be like chopped up and thrown in like a profile. I'm a provider, I'm a protector, I'm six four. Like <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, it's so the weird. three P's: mm. provider, protector, and procreator. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, he. Um... I just their... Go ahead. I thought their conversation as a whole was inappropriate because it's like they went from one extreme to to the next. Mm. I think. About um... sex. I'm like, girl, what, what was the purpose of even talking about that? Yeah, I don't think she was ever going to take him serious because I'm pretty sure she's, what, 38 or 39? So she's got about seven, eight years on him anyways. So um, this is like a boy toy situation. It's it's only to rile up Jaysha. And I'm like, I know that the process is for you to explore other people potentially to see what's lacking in your own partner or to see if you could have a better connection with someone else. But I'm like, the, the purposely antagonizing your partner thing, like, I don't know how... <laughs> No, I don't know how people are just okay with this. Like, yeah, I'm a flirt with him so that he feels away. Like, why you gotta be with somebody that you need to agitate? I think they, there's a word for that. What was that? What's that word? Right. You know, what's that word? Uh, trifling. I told y'all. <laughs> I knew it. They won. I'm going to let you have it, combat. I'm going to let you have it. Whatever. Bye. We're going to write down affirmations like, I am abundant. I okay. am prosperous. Like things. I am gonna... abundant. I'm from Dallas, Texas. So Stop. Yeah, where are you from? Dallas, Dallas. Texas. Are you serious? Yeah. What part of Dallas are you from? Cedar Hill. Are you serious? Yeah. I used to have a salon in Cedar Hill. Yeah, beautiful smile. Thank you. Thank Melanated, you. gorgeous. I know. I love your rich tone. When Marcus compliments me, that makes me feel really, really good. It just seems so not compliments at home? I'm not asking for the compliments. He's not fishing and making huh. me feel like, okay, now you're doing too much. I mean, I think that's kind of what I'm really looking for from Ricky. Sorry, just a quick note before we continue. So she don't get compliments at home? Is that she what don't, she... he, Ricky said that he doesn't really compliment her or even take her out. He admitted to that. Oh. He trying to hide her at home. Yeah. Yeah, mm. basically, he don't take he don't he don't take her nowhere. Damn. The first date, um, mentioned that he was like, "Oh, you know, you don't get flowers, you don't get taken out." He's like, "No, she hasn't been taken out in a while." I'm like, "What?" He actually said that. Damn, I feel bad for Catherine. <laughs> wow. Ricky, yeah. Because this episode, she said she wanted to feel like a girlfriend, and I'm like. That makes sense that she's saying that because I've been feeling like they should have just stayed friends. And if she's saying that, then girl, mm, okay. All right. She need to get Marcus. <laughs> she need what? Marcus a chance. I yeah, see Marcus and her together. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. I'm from Sacramento. I moved here four years ago. Um, Military Air Force. I love being like active, like anything physical, like I'm I'm in. I gotta hit her with the interview questions. What do you like to do? She does not want what to be on this thing. You know, I like to know all this stuff. That'd be like a whole bottle of tequila in. Oh, yeah. Come on, you're too old for this. Right, this. Not right, her getting right, excited right, now. Right. Mm-hmm. And you can turn it up for real. Yeah, yeah. No one like the guy out all the time. It's immature. And stuff with their friends and get that type of feedback back. I was like, I am the problem. What's going on? How you doing? Good. Hey, what's going on? Getting back from my date. He started to tell me about like how good he is in the bedroom and how sex this. Why and are sex you saying that. this? And he said that if a woman is not married, 
technically she's single. If he has something that I don't have, then, then hey, but it's not something I really want to think about, I would be very upset. But I know there's a possibility that she could have an attraction for somebody and I could lose her. Throw J J no not J not Jaysha. Don't throw Jaysha. Joya and the next man, the alcoholic, away. Throw them away. Yeah. She was trying to make him jealous. All of that that she said is so unnecessary. And then when it comes down to asking if she wants another date, and if she says yes, he's gonna have that on his mind. And the thing is, like she, no, I don't get it. I don't understand her. I don't understand her. Why are we bringing this up? Like what? Like why? I. What's your end goal, Joy? J like she's the one. I want to be married. I want to have a kid. Like, so what? How? What? What is your end goal in in hurting this man this way? Like I don't get it. She could be trying to provoke him into action, to like provoke him into like claiming her. I can like, see that. I That's could, like, sad. I'm like, I'm desired. Other people are interested in me, and I can just go if I want to, unless you marry me. Right. Yeah. That sucks. That's so immature, though. That's like, who would want that? And do y'all notice how she flipped it when she was like, oh, and he said, if a girl's unmarried, she's single. No, you said that. <laughs> you said that. Well, he did repeat after her. It's like, at what point Please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> she is slick. What's so crazy is that he's going to see this regardless if she even told him. He's going to see all of it. True. True. Then he's going to throw her away. You know, Ooh. he's strong enough to do it. <laughs> he is. He's a sucker, man. He saw those shoulders. He just. <laughs> okay. Um, and then what's her name what? now? No. What's the what's the new guy's name, guys? The new couple. What's the man's name? I never even thought about if he had a name. To be I just thought he was an alcoholic, and that was. I that. know. I just call him the alcoholic. I don't know his name. Yeah. No, it's not Marcus. Marcus oh, is the guy no. who was on the date. Anyways, the alcoholic. This man is so out of touch with how to be just a regular, genuine person that he was like, yeah, I spoke and she listened and, and spoke back. Like, she's just so good to talk to. What do you mean? That's a regular conversation. And then that furthermore, he too. was like, oh, yeah, like, um, I can sense that she's like into it or whatever. I'm like, you can't? She's right? dead in the face. <laughs> she looks like she wanna go to bed. She looks like she wanna literally sleep the house she leaning in on her hand, like And then she and only lit up when he was talking about his turning up, whatever, whatever. That's the only time I actually saw emotion come across her face. Like she was kind of excited about that. I don't know like if that was exciting her or if she just took a moment to throw jobs at him. Like, oh, you the problem. Like, you know what I mean? Just little like teasing. But I was like, that's the only time she actually looked right. interested. And she perked up. Yeah. But before that, <laughs> she was out of there. She was out of there. Oh, his name is Zay. That's a, he's the alcoholic going forward. Okay. He needs help. He needs help. Zay. He does catering with no clothes on and an apron. Butt naked uh, yeah. chef. That's what yeah, I call Yeah, he's a, he's a... Butt naked chef. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I can't even talk about his name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got a buns out with an apron. <laughs> Zay, I have to say, you're deflecting. Mm. Mm. Listen and really take in, because it's for you to see where that's hitting, but you're running from the emotion of it. I was more listening, and then I'd be able to So you did listen. What made you listen to her? And one and of the biggest complaints that Jasmine said is you don't listen to her. Because mm. I want to try something different so I can bring it home. Let's see how well you listen from this day forward. There's other men out there that can have deep intellectual conversations. That really is something that I value. This girl so is a problem. So you really enjoyed this date, Joya. I did. Would you like a second date with them? I would no, have to girl. say yes. 
he really challenged me in my thinking by the All questions right. that he asked me and this time I would like Girl, to bye. maybe dive in and get to know Girl, him bye. a little bit more and ask him some things Girl, that bye. I didn't get a chance to ask on the first date. I don't get a chance to miss her. How would you like me to give you an opportunity to miss me? Because y'all are all shocked up in that house. Uh, I don't know. All like, 15 I mean, of you. You know, find some things you like to do. It's a part of a relationship. You yeah. make out of life, right? Mm. The reason why that's so important, y'all, is because when you are together with somebody 20, 30 years, you do want to have your own life and you do want to give them some time to miss you. You made it seem like wow. I'm just always around you, I'm always smothering you, and in this six months, I haven't did anything to grow a clientele. How did you get all of that from? That's what it, that is what, you. Ricky, that is that's what everybody said, heard. Though. That's what everybody heard. Every Tuesday and Thursday, who was taking the kids to practice? Yes, I was. Yes, yes. She about to read him for film. Come on now. Let's go. When you sit here and lie, I need, you to, so I, I need you to tell the truth. Listen, listen. No, I'm not about to listen when you about to lie. That's about to piss me off. You, I can tell you, you never took your son to no damn practice. That's bull. And for you to sit here and lie, that's crazy to me. Okay. <sighs> Combat. What? What did we say about calling people bums? <laughs> That she was indeed a bummer. Like that, 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 I'm pretty sure that was like the conclusion that we came to. No, the conclusion was not to use the term bum. People are already calling her homeless. Like I feel, I hope, I'll go. They could call her homeless, but I can't call her a bum. Like what is the difference between these things? I, she is giving hobosexual, she, she, and it's sad. She, she said that he works, and I'm an entrepreneur. I'm like, what does that mean? You're not bringing in the money. Oh no. That's why I don't know really. She's not paying mortgage. Like, and the reason why she's doing all those things is to compensate for what she doesn't have. Yeah. Heavy on the homosexual for sure. And it's so funny. We're not used to women being homosexuals. Like, whoa. Equal opportunity, man. I'm here for it. <laughs> Somebody said housewife. I think I would be I I don't I don't think it's housewife in this case, honestly. I don't. <laughs> Can you be a housewife in someone else's family's house? I don't know. It's giving nanny. I don't. I don't. Ee, did I just say that? Yikes! <laughs> yeah, it's That's giving crazy. nanny. I can't lie. <laughs> I don't see why she would want to marry him at this time. Like they're not ready to, for marriage. Yeah, no, they're definitely she not. Wants, she doesn't have anything else going on in her life. Yeah, he basically told her to go get a life. Yo, the way I would cry? The way I would cry if my man told me, get up and get a life. All right, he's like, mean, I'm speaking facts, too. He's speaking facts, you said? What'd you say, Vanessa? He was like, yeah, find something that you like to do. I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, fun goes to answer your question. Wait, he don't have his own house? It seems like this is the house that the parents own his parents so she moved in the sister also lives there with her kids it's a mess it's a mess yo man that's not like a group home <laughs> yeah kind of and it's sad because like i said in love is blind but no was it love is blind yeah about marshall you can't love somebody into loving you and i guess she thought like okay i'm leaving my hometown i'm gonna take care of your kids and i'm gonna do the errands and and i'm gonna live with your family and then eventually i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna work my way into his heart and unfortunately god that's not the case so you know what i think is happening i think that all of a sudden she's finding so many faults with him because she was just that attracted to the guy that she was previously on a date with because we haven't gotten anything <laughs> this like everything that she's saying is literally not a problem <laughs> but she's treating it like it is a problem okay and or when she had act she didn't even treat actual problems like there were problems before okay but now she's coming with this energy and this should only happen after she went on a date with that other guy with whom she was laughing at not funny things he's saying so because, I think that because I don't Marcus saying anything funny and she was laughing. She was he he and <laughs> he he and ha ha. She was. Yeah, no, okay, it's okay. yeah, it's it's a sad relationship, honestly. It it looks like oof, yeah, I don't know. Stay friends, <laughs> y'all. Go back to friends. It's a relationship based on convenience. Um, 
Agreed. I don't think they should be friends, honestly. I think they should just cut their ties. Oh. Especially if she's considering Marcus. I wouldn't even be friends with Ricky anymore. You know, friends don't kick each other to the curb, literally. Like, she should be homeless, you know? Like, <laughs> she didn't get a car. No, she doesn't have a car. She was, yeah, she would, yeah. But yeah, you and and, and this is why, I'm like... This is why it's so important to do things genuinely because you want to do them because everything that she was doing to gain favor from Ricky, she's now using against him. You've never taken your kids to sports. I moved all the way, da, 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 da. I live with your parents. I do this. I do that. But it's like, you didn't have to leave. He could have, he could have come back to Dallas because didn't they meet in Dallas? Oh no, they met where they're at and she moved back to Dallas to be with her grandma. Okay. But either way, you could have let this man take the initiative and prove to you why you should be with him. But instead you wanted to do the proving against your better judgment. And now that it's not working in your favor, you want to use those things against him. And it's like, well, I don't know. I, I think you should have had some stronger boundaries before getting to this relationship because you've now told him what is acceptable. And now you're shifting the goalposts, which is kind of unfair. Yeah, that is unfair. You can't make a willing sacrifice of your own volition and then try to blame the other person for the sacrifice that you made. That's just going exactly. to be petty. Exactly. Like, you don't even make sacrifices. Like, you can't, like, don't, like, like, it's just petty, honestly. Um, Ms. Bond said, uh, it makes me wonder if she moved to Atlanta to be with him. He may have sold her a dream. It looks like she did move to Atlanta to be with him because, no, no, no. She was in Atlanta at first. They met 10 years ago. Grandma or mother, don't remember, got sick. So she moved to Dallas to be the primary caretaker and then moved back to Atlanta, but went straight into his home. So I would have said if they were going to pursue a relationship, one of the stipulations would be for us to get our own place or something like that. Or... I'm the moving in until I get the ring, period. Because now right. you've, you've kind of, you've, you've, what is it? Something about a milk and a cow. I forget the analogy, but the milk and the cow. <laughs> Whoever knows I it. Buy the, instead of getting the milk for free. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't remember it. <laughs> he doesn't want to buy the cow. He's just drinking the milk. Yeah, why buy? Is it why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Is did he even ask her to move? Because she never, she never said anything along the lines of of him even begging her to move down. Like I think she could have very well just like just did that shit herself. Yeah, and it seems now like she's gonna place the blame on. Well, she did actually. It's not even gonna. Yeah, she placed the blame on him for her career being stagnant. So oh, you like, have to have a career to have a exciting career, though. So, <sighs> she don't even got that. Because I'm like, what kind of entrepreneur is she? She didn't even say what it is. Isn't that she it a salon? Is it not a salon? Mm. I thought it was a salon. No, I don't think it's currently a salon. I think she's doing something else. Because why wouldn't she just say she's a salon owner instead of an entrepreneur? Mm. It's kind of iffy. Yeah, she's a girlfriend doing wifely duties. Absolutely. I mean, she has a salon. Wouldn't she have a car? That's weird. And maybe oh, is she even actually doing wifely duties? Like what would that even be? What is even wifely duties? Well, it's definitely more than girlfriend duties. Is she even doing <laughs> She sound like a house guest, like she's doing house guest duties. <gasps> Stop. I mean, I did say it's giving nanny, so yikes. Yeah. She's a roommate. <laughs> Loki, I feel like she's mad at herself for allowing all the foolishness and she deflected all that anger towards him. 1,000%, Rena. 1,000%. She's upset and she thought, you know, all of my actions are, are going to be appreciated. And I'm going to work for that ring. Baby, if he don't want to get on that knee, he's not going to do it. There's nothing. You could give him a kidney. If he don't want to marry you, he's not going to marry you. And he's been married before. So and he's been married he's, before. He's not, he's not in a rush to get married again. Nope. And funny. Kids. 
Say that again. He already got kids, so he probably won't even want more kids. Mm, yeah. On top of that, too, in his marriage, he felt like he was doing all the right things and marriage still didn't work out. So, homegirl, you doing all the quote unquote right things. You should have looked at his marriage and thought, this this is not going to get me anywhere. A person needs to want me. And if they don't, point blank, period, there's nothing you can do. That's it. There's nothing you can do. I don't even know what would bring a person to want to go on a national show like this and expose their relationship. Like, I can't even imagine doing this. This and Temptation Island, the premise of both of those shows makes no sense to me. At all. <laughs> oh my gosh. For clout, my Duke's own is not where you go for clout. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Right>? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 definitely crazy. not oh oh my goodness do they get paid i mean everybody on any reality show gets a stipend but i don't know how significant the stipend is from put a ring on it so yes because yeah. it'll be free therapy mm. there well yeah there's that <gasps> not someone saying it's a start ask blue damn <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, any thoughts? Gonna, <laughs> this, is, this is off topic. Are you going to be um, doing a watch party for the new show on um, with Franklin and his wife? Absolutely. The one. Abs Are you kidding me? Yeah. First of when all, Brent. In May? May uh, I think. Oh, shoot. I might have it in my calendar. Hold on. Okay, yeah, because I'm looking forward to that watch party. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Sorry to be off topic. I just wanted to make sure. No, no problem. Somebody else might have had the same question. You never know. Um, when I get the date, I will let you know. But I know it's mid-May for sure. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no. I in regards to the day, guy and what is his wife? Not his wife. What is his girlfriend name? Like, she got a name? Who are you talking about? Zay's... The guy named oh uh, Jasmine, exactly. his pimping wife. I mean, his pimping girlfriend. What's her name? Jasmine. Jasmine. That's it. Jasmine. You know, I think that he when he was saying something about like she listens and responds. I think he could be having this thing with his wife, not his wife, his girlfriend, where they talk at each other. Oh, Oh, one thousand percent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And so he doesn't listen because, he, like, in his head, you're not even, like, you're just talking at me. But then again, like, when she shares her emotions or whatever, he either doesn't pay attention to them or he invalidates them. So why would she want to listen to him talk either? Like, it's, it's, it's sad on both ends, honestly. Like, <laughs> I think before we do anything, like getting on a knee, we need to get to an AA meeting. But um, that's a story for another day. Mm. the I one need... comes out on thursday may 11th by the way oh perfect oh may 11th oh that's soon okay mm -hmm. yeah um yeah it's sad their relationship is really sad it feels like um he's still accepting this whole alter ego thing and i don't know why she's okay with it at his big age i think like we said last week he showed his true colors on their first date and i'm sorry she accepted that she saw who he was accepted it and is now expecting him to be a different person girl no like we said about catherine no was it catherine who was shifting the goalpost whoever is also shifting the goalpost you you can't do that you can't do that anyways any last remarks from uh people on the stage or people in the chat um, should we look out for the community tab on whether or not you kind of going to be on? Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to see what I can do. Set it up in the morning, see if it works. And then we'll be live in the evening. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Zay needs therapy and rehab. He don't need a relationship. Ricky looks like he's just sad beyond, <laughs> beyond life with Catherine. <laughs> and joyous man. Just, I can't with him. Yeah. 
yeah yeah zay definitely arena. needs therapy and rehab it is it is very sad it is very very sad and um what's her name jasmine needs to get some self-worth too sorry she does mm -hmm. because the things that she has talked about and the way that she glosses over them like it's not an issue i'm like babe you are in a toxic relationship and like we were saying last week the fact that she can pinpoint the toxicity in the man that she went on a date with but cannot see those same things in the man she wants to marry is a problem big what big does problem. she do for a living no idea i think she got a salon too listen everybody got a salon <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like there's, I feel like sometimes there's just like this trend of like, of like, I feel like sometimes like there are some women who want to be like co-pilots of somebody else's life versus mm. being a pilot of their own life. Mm. And so they just always try to add on to somebody else's life. And then sometimes they're dissatisfied with the decision, even though that's like been what they what they've been doing this whole time. I just, I personally just noticed that uh, as like a trend for like a lot of women sometimes. And uh, I think that she and Catherine, Jasmine and Catherine might be such people where they're like co-piloting in somebody else's life. I can see that. Instead of like taking life by the horns for themselves. I can see that. I really can. I can see that for sure. Yeah. Whew. Well, that's sad. That's sad to hear. I'm just going to let these last people finish typing and then I'm going to head out. But um, yeah, final thought. Oh, you guys, we didn't even talk about jo Joya saying yes to the second date. All oh, right. That she's playing with fire. What is she doing? She's really playing with fire. I don't understand why would she even do that? even her explanation didn't mean even make sense <laughs> it didn't make sense at all and then for her to have explained things the way that she did about how the date went it's like she was taking the knife and twisting it by saying right. yes and i'm like yo you're oh no you i and here hmm, people need to be careful when they either go into therapy or go into these shows making it seem like the other person is the problem because it will open up a can of worms about yourself that you did not realize because she came on the show basically saying look at this man i'm such a great woman and he doesn't want to marry me well baby episode after episode we're starting to see why mm -hmm. it's not a good look joya not at all She's being petty and it's going to catch up with her 1000%. Uh, hear me out. Joya knows what she's doing. She's smart, smart. I'm telling you. No, 1000%. It, it, it definitely seems calculated. And that's sad. That's sad that you need to feel like one upping your partner is the only way you're going to be, you know, successful. Like, why do you, I, oh, Joya, no girl, I was rooting for you. I was going to combat with combat for you, but I can't. Now I have to side with combat. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Mm -mm -mm. Everyone got to side with me at some point, you know, it's just like inevitable. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> being calculated isn't good when it comes to your relationship. 1000%. Like why? No, no. She's trying to reverse psychology. She's trying to use reverse psychology on everything and guilt him into proposing. She's very manipulative. The smile covers it all. Yeah. It's, it's, um, what's the word? It's like wolf in sheep's clothing. She looks so sweet and, and so pretty. And like, why wouldn't he want to marry her? Like, why wouldn't he want to have a kid with her? And then the more and more she talks and the more and more you see her actions, you're like, oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I feel like with their situation, she, like we see aspects of her that he'll never see because we're watching her live. We're yeah. watching her like, on TV. Yeah. And he'll never see that unless he like, you know, watches, but we're watching. So there's like she could be like showing her only like an aspect of herself to him that is like I, I don't know, like a kind, nice, admirable person, when in reality she's like <laughs> no it's true i mean they've only been together i think about a year these two and so i remember my last situation with somebody that was over a year and, and i only found out that they were a fraud because 
somebody else who was a mutual friend that knew him. If I didn't know that person, I would have never known. So it's it's easy to hold up your representative for for a year or two. You don't, yeah. Mm. Yikes. That's scary. Um, just reading these last comments, and then we're gonna go. Because you did book how much she huh? Because did you book how much she shared when she came back from her date and she wasn't almost trying to rub it in? But like, do it subtly, ma'am. We see you. Okay, you cannot fool us. <laughs> we <laughs> we have been dating with these. Sh we have been dealing with these shows. We ain't falling for it. I hear you. Um, that's how people in Atlanta act, though. Everybody's trifling. Yikes. Um. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're not trifling for real, though, man. We not. Oh, are you from Atlanta? Yeah. Well. Well, I'm technically well. Um, around Atlanta, but uh, I'm just saying, like, people, only some people be traveling. You can mm -hmm. tell they're traveling from a, a distance. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Well, everybody, good night. And for those Love is Blind people, I will see you tomorrow evening. Okay. Deuces.